So our morning storm passed through. Now it's dried up. We got a few things to paint outside. So how you doing there, babe? Doing good. Base from boards are painted and drying. It's starting to drizzle again. So hopefully the weather just holds out long enough for us to get everything installed and then maybe we can cozy up in front of that window wall and watch the next storm roll through. Any luck? With the painting, yes, done. It is starting to drizzle again though. So we're gonna have to hurry up with that. With the nail gun, no, I haven't found it. It's a yeah, disaster. This is a little bit of a mess. It's supposed to be the bathroom. Um, it's a tool storage area right now. And uh, we gotta get the thing cleaned out and get it all to the power house. Eventually, it'll be a bathroom. Eventually. here, Josh, you shouldn't have cut your beard before doing trim work. I know. I know. I'm getting in a lot more though these days with no beard. <laughs> so, I mean. Who needs trim anyway, Josh? <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know I was a cock thing down. Looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. So with our base trim, we're staying simple like we've been everywhere in the entire house. So now we're getting over to the angled wall. I'm going to get these guys put in so I can get something to, I can pretty much nail the base trim too. It might seem like the bathroom would be what you miss the most at this point, but since we have that makeshift shower outside, which is actually really nice and it's you know to totally like showering normally, you have great water pressure and you don't run out of hot water, the bathroom is actually not what I miss the most at this point. At this point, it's the appliances and a real couch. Yeah. That's what I miss. Yeah. I agree, 100%, I second that notion. <laughs> Look 
looking for that light in the shadow Always been wandering through darkness I'm always listening for a sound to follow Waiting for something to be So we obviously had to move everything in Ellie's room. Now it's all back together. We're gonna do the same thing in our bedroom, slash laundry room, slash computer room, slash mechanical room, everything above. So that's where we're going next. All of the base trim is installed. We are waiting for the caulk to dry before I can go back through and touch everything up with a little bit of paint. So in the meantime, Josh is outside mixing up some high strength grout so that we can get the soapstone installed on our wood stove. Was it high strength grout? Is that what he said it was called, Leon? I couldn't find a trowel, but I found one of these. Is that good enough? Very disappointing you. <laughs> Why? You know better. <laughs> this is meant to uh, put drywall mud on a wall, not mix <laughs> grout. <laughs> when life gives you a drywall knife, Josh, you use it, okay? I appreciate you, you know? <laughs> That's why I love you so much. The drywall knife will work out just fine because as Josh always says, we don't make excuses, we make progress. Right, Josh? The old, the old saying goes, what goes to Aaron is, I don't need excuses, I need production. That's it. Right, babe? And Aaron's very productive, right? That's a no! <laughs> That's a yes! <laughs> The non string grout is done. The reason why we had to do that with the platform, with the stone on top of the platforms, all the stones bigger, smaller, so nothing's actually perfectly level at all. So when we put the stove on, we leveled it up with uh, square metal washers. Um, we had it like that for uh, a few months now, no issues. So now it's time to put the soapstone on. We can't put that on because it actually needs to sit on the ground next to the stove. And with that being all out of whack and having the stove itself level, but off level from the platform we put non-string grout on everything so now the stove is getting held up by the non-string grout and we also came out the sides a little bit about an inch out so it made that flat so the sides of the soapstone can come and sit down on top of the non-string grout so we're gonna let it here overnight it should be ready for us tomorrow but now we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the kitchen get the toe kick installed if hopefully aaron is able to find that no man We'll see. Uh, I wasn't. No? <laughs> no. I was about as successful at finding the nail gun as I was finding your trowel. Which I know. Means not successful. The, pro the problem is that we have tools everywhere now scattered all over the place because... Uh, we don't have a proper place to store them at. Exactly. Which is the next thing we're working on, getting that everything, like we mentioned earlier, into the powerhouse. Power and actually having it... The thing about it is, with all the solar and the freezers in there, all that stuff, it's not, still in that room. That means we need to build a workshop. Now you speak my language. <laughs> I found it. It was in the barn. Where'd you find that at? It was literally right there. There you go, Leon. Good job. Yeah. You're so fast, Lee. When you're on your knees, counting time till 
the continents collide But out your window Going somewhere near I see it through And the hand of fate that I drew The high shrink, non-shrink, high strength. What's what's that grout called again, Josh? The dark gray, really strong Play-Doh is hardened, cured, whatever you want to say. It's ready to go, so we're ready to put the soapstone on the stove. This is the original damper lever for the stove. They, when we got the soap stone, they sent us a new lever that's actually about an inch longer because uh, that's coming up out past soap stone. So the damper's actually on the side or inside the stove itself. It's open, now it's closed. The nice thing with the soapstone, it retains and radiates the heat once the fire does die down. We're still able to cook on it. We have a great for boiling water. Um, we actually sourced the soapstone, the same place where we got the stove and the stove pipe. We got it from Layman's. And now that we have this entire thing put together, it actually flows nice with the stone background. I think it all fits nice together. We're on to a new chapter in this process. We have gone from an overwhelmingly long list of big projects to the small and somewhat monotonous finishing projects. But all those little tasks from adding soapstone and trim to picking up unique items to add to the interior all make the home feel more complete and more like ours. The bathroom is the last big project inside this portion of the house. With each passing day, our to-do list is getting shorter and shorter.